Hey guys, we're here with the New York Auto Show and here's the all new Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport. Now, I wouldn't say all new, it's more of a facelifted version of the Cross Sport. And this also follows with the facelifted Atlas, which you can see right there and right here as well. But this one has the lights on, I think it looks better. So we're gonna take a look at this one first. Let's talk about the changes that Volkswagen made. Now, it's the same car, essentially, though. We have a new design outside and a new design inside. So outside, we have this all-new light bar-shaped design going on front, new grille, new bumper, really more bold look. I think it looks a little bit like the new Ascent facelift, but I'll let you guys debate that in the comment section down below. Now, up front, like I said before, we have this really new light bar that Volkswagen is kind of implementing into all of their new vehicles. We also have this really cool illuminated Volkswagen badge. This is actually one of my favorite illuminated badges from manufacturers. Not a big fan of this in general, but I think Volkswagen actually did a pretty Pretty good job with this. This one is in the R Design trim, as you can see right here. You're not getting any performance upgrades here, it's just an appearance package, and I guess that sportiness carries out to the rear. Now, on the side, we have this kind of like this revised cross sport badging going on here, and this cross sport text, which is kind of cool. Of course, in that fake fender vent style, unfortunately, but that is what we're going to be dealing with here. The rear, I think, is one of the more interesting looking areas. We have this really chunky new light bar back here on both the Atlas and the Atlas Cross Sport. Not sure why they decided to do this, but there's this gigantic red bar on the back that's not fully illuminated, which obviously we just had this one bar going across. And out back, we also have the illuminated Volkswagen logo as well, which again looks really cool, but I'm not too sure about this gigantic red piece that is kind of implemented into the rear. Otherwise, I think it looks pretty clean and pretty sleek, and these are pretty popular, actually, as people want that crossover coupe style but can't afford an X4, like an X6, and this is a little bit more affordable. Unfortunately, we do have fake exhaust tips down here, which is a little bit annoying, and it's kind of faux diffuser going on over here as well. Obviously, it's for the sporty effect, but this is what we're going to be getting back here. Uh, back, we also have a fully powered tailgate, as you can see right here. Pretty nice amount of storage, isn't you know, it? The Atlas is a pretty big SUV as well, so you should expect this large amount of storage in here. So this looks a little bit nice back here. Some nice storage pockets on the side as well, which is fantastic. We do have a little bit of underfloor storage if you want to sell some stuff next to your spare tire, which is pretty cool. We have a subwoofer back there as well. Of course, you can fold the seats down. Now the Atlas's crossboard is not a three-row vehicle. If you want that, you're gonna have to go with your regular shaped SUV Atlas over here. So let's go take a quick look on the interior right now and show you guys the changes they made here. Okay guys, so inside, I really like this new Volkswagen detailing they did on the side panel right here. Here's where a lot of the big changes are actually happening on the interior over here. So here, Volkswagen has kind of redone the entire interior front end for the Atlas lineup to kind of freshen it and modernize it up a little bit. On the door panels, we have this really nice kind of stitched leather going on here, which is kind of actually feels pretty good. High quality, we have a perforation going on. We have kind of like a faux carbon fiber trim on the door panels. We have the upgraded Harman Kardon audio system in this particular model. We also have these metal side sill plates as well. Atlas on the floor mats and these really cool quilted leather seats with this blue inlays underneath, which I think looks really, really cool. A little bit more of a premium look, especially for the R Design model. Let's hop inside and show you guys some of the more changes happening inside the new Atlas. Pretty solid flung from the door panels. And here's where you can kind of see this whole new interior that Volkswagen has done in here. So we can obviously see the ambient lighting going throughout the interior. And that carries into the dash actually with this really cool kind of cross sport badging going into here. This is a really cool effect. I like this actually a lot. I think it really brings up the interior. What I don't like is this new infotainment system, which Volkswagen is putting in all their new models. It's completely touch based over here. So you have your touch based climate controls. You also have touch based. Um, volume controls and stuff. And unfortunately they're not illuminated at night. So you kind of have to memorize these locations or you, otherwise you won't be able to see them. You can kind of slide. As you can see, it's a little bit finicky sometimes. So I'm not a big fan of that. I wish they would have just kept a volume knob, which would, would also would have been a bit better. Um, otherwise the entertainment system itself is okay. Um, Volkswagen's been having some issues with their climate, um, software recently. So hopefully this is a more improved version of the stuff we've been seeing the ID models. Nonetheless, it does look nicely integrated, I think, and a little bit better than what we had before, which is a really old style in dash infotainment system. Another unfortunate feature is a sea of gloss black plastic on this interior, which as we know, gets really scratchy, fingerprinty, and it honestly looks really cheap actually. I think this cheapens the interior, unfortunately, but 
unfortunately that's what they're going with we also have this new volkswagen group style mini shifter right here which is a little bit weird looking um and a little bit of some new material stuff going down here wireless charger mat in your center console two usb-c ports and of course we have a new steering wheel with those new touch button controls built in as well not a huge fan of those personally but that's what you're going to be getting here we do have paddle shifters for the transmission and this is a v naturally aspirated v6 engine under the hood actually i'm sorry the v6 is gone this is a four cylinder only now so this massive vehicle is four cylinder only which is really unusual even for the um larger i guess or i guess more traditional shaped suv atlas so not sure why they decided to go with that but again only a four cylinder under the hood we do have this new instrument cluster here which is a little bit small looking actually um it does look quite nice as a digital instrument cluster though i wish it was a little bit bigger i think that's a little bit too small we do have a full heads-up display as well in this model and we have these new kind of touch style button panel for your wiper controls and some lighting controls as well which is really interesting there's a little bit of a haptic feedback going on there as well some traditional controls on the id models these are actually touch buttons a little bit so it kind of acts as your win rear window so thankfully they left the rear window controls on this model which i actually appreciate of course, we have power operated seats, so we can move our seats up and back. And I want to get into a good seating position so I can show you guys the rear um, cargo room out in the seating room. So let's go check that out really quickly. Again, the rear seats have sunshades in this one, which is pretty nice, manual sunshades. The same materials all carry out to the rear as well. That blue stitching on the um, interior as well, which is really cool. Let's hop in. Pretty solid thunk from the doors as well. We have some pockets in the back of the seats and a lot of legroom, which I love. Lots of legroom in these vehicles. Um, heated rear seats back here as well, which is fantastic. Climb events, two USB-C ports. So a lot of amenities and features back here. And we do have a panoramic glass roof, which is fantastic. That does open, which is also really nice. And these LED touch lights right here, which are really, really bright. So yeah, if you want a crossover coupe on a budget, this is probably going to be your go-to model. But let me know what you guys think of the new and updated Volkswagen Atlas Crossport down in the comment section below. I'll take you guys on a quick tour of the regular Atlas right now. Okay, guys, and here we have the more traditional looking Volkswagen Atlas SUV here. Of course, also in this R design trim. And I think this is gonna be a little bit more popular than the Crossport model, just because you're gonna get a little bit more capability and practicality out of this version versus the Crossport. Now, like with the Crossport, we have the exact same fascias going on up front, so nothing too different here. That one has the lights on, so you can kinda get a little bit of, of a better idea what's happening on the lighting elements, but that's this is essentially what you're getting here. The only difference really is the rear end, which of course, this one has more traditional boxy SUV TV shape versus that slim, sloped roof line on the crossboard model. I think this one looks a little bit cleaner actually too. So this one though is going to offer you the option of a third row. So opening this rear door panel, here we can see a little bit more of a premium feeling interior. Wood inlays, lighter leather, and of course the third row seating that everyone's going to be wanting. And you can obviously get access to that really quickly by popping those seats up which fold up really quickly. And you get nice easy access into that third row which seats two people i'm not even going to try to sit back there right now because it looks a little bit tight but glad to see they are offering this as an option for some people putting the seats back as well should be super easy you can just pop this back you can slide the seats oh and slide the seats all the way back just like this actually a pretty easy mechanism you can go lock it in place too so we have a center console here as well with two cup holders pretty nice and you can see some ambient lighting popping into this interior as well as well as a panoramic roof just like in the cross sport and this interior is much more premium feeling you don't have that illuminated stuff going on the dash with that wood and lay on the whole dashboard i think this lighter interior actually does the atlas a little bit more better justice than the darker interior though i'll let you guys decide that down in the comment section below so guys, this was a quick tour of this Atlas next to the Crossport. Let me know what you guys think about these two.